Greetings from Research and More. In this video, we will be looking at the conceptual map of a research cycle focusing on the interrelatedness among its different components. Now, as a novice researcher or a new doctoral student just starting out to do research, have you ever felt overwhelmed by the sheer amount of procedures and processes you have to follow before you can even begin to work on your research? You have to do the literature review, propose a topic, determine the research problem, craft the research questions, set research objectives, choose the right methodology, select the methods, suggest expected research outcomes, and many more. Can we just pick any one of these to start with? Or do we have to follow a certain sequence? it would certainly help to have a big picture view of the entire process flow by connecting all the research components together in a certain structure to show their interconnectedness. Here is a typical structure of a research cycle. Each of the components may have distinctly different features, but they have strong interconnections between and among them. The central point of any research is the problem statement. So much so, it is often referred to as the heart of research. If a research problem is not properly determined, then there would be no compelling reason to even begin to conduct the research. Let's see how each component is connected to each other. Research problem is the starting point of any research endeavor. A research problem is often guided by the research topic found in a particular research domain. Besides, research problem is also the thread that holds all the other components together in the research cycle. Problems are connected to the research questions by a two-way relationship. Since the problem is in an abstract form, it needs to be converted into a workable form by using the research questions. Answers to the research questions should lead to the achieving of research objectives. Research problem, research questions and research objectives are the parts that we explore first in the research process. Research questions are vital as they establish the choice of methodology methods, sampling, sample size, data collection instrument, and data analysis techniques. Appropriate methodology and methods will lead to reliable and valid research findings, which will eventually lead to research outcomes that can answer the research questions. A research problem is deemed to be solved when the research objectives are achieved. Research problem may be the trigger point of research, but it is the literature review that lays the foundation that supports the building of research. Choices for appropriate type of research, research methodology, methods, data analysis tools must be justified and validated through the literature. I hope you find this video helpful in understanding that research consists of a series of interrelated processes. What you write in one part is based on the output of the previous parts and will be an input to the subsequent parts. Therefore, any revision done to one part will require revisions in other related parts. Subsequent videos will give more detailed explanations and illustration on how to craft the literature review, research problem, and construct research questions. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and comment so that more of similar videos can be created.